Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Sadem. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest transfer updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. So guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe and also turn on notification. Next is our just giveaway. Make sure to comment under this video and any other video we drop you on Sports Corner GH. Be part of the top three commenters at the end of the month and stand a chance of winning yourself a free jersey of your choice. So guys, please make sure to participate. Next is our shout out. If your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Please continue to support the channel. I appreciate it and I'm very grateful. But then if your name is not here, don't worry, don't be offended. Comment under this video and I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list. We do live here on Sports Corner G. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and talk about the latest transfer update concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. And I'd like to begin with Charles Herman. For those who don't know Charles Herman, his father is former Black Star coach Sinki Akonon. Now, Charles Herman used to play for Dortmund, and the current update we are receiving is that he has left Dortmund and has decided to sign for Borussia Mönchengladbach in the German Bundesliga. Now, this player won the Under-17 World Cup with Germany, and a lot of Ghanaians were asking him to switch nationality and come and play for Ghana. See, he has not said in the decision is not his to take, but then that of his son when he comes of age. But guys, this is the latest update concerning Charles Herman. Who is eligible to play for Ghana and also Germany? He has decided to join Borussia Mönchengladbach from Dortmund. We'll make sure to follow up on this and bring you more info. Life here on Sports Corner GH. Let's move away from that and talk about English born Ghanaian player Omar Forsen. Now, if you remember Omar Forsen very well, last season he was playing for Manchester United. He was one of those players that were promoted for the academy to the senior team by Eric Ter Hag. And Eric Ter Hag did a good job because most of them did very well. Omar Forsen in some games for the Manchester United was very bright. You could see that there, there is prospect, there is potential in this player. And GFE, you need to start going for this player because this player decided to run down his contract with Manchester United. He decided not to extend it anymore. Then he left as a free agent. And when he left as a free agent, he decided to sign for Monza in Italy. So currently, he's a player for Monza. He's going to play Monza in the next season. And I'm happy for a player who is willing to take the risk and play in the new league, you know, chatter his own part. We wish Omar Fawcett all the best because I'm a Manchester United fan myself. But seeing him deciding to leave, I'm sure he's leaving because he wants more game minutes and he wants to start a fresh somewhere also. Omar Fawcett, we wish you all the best. You can see his unveiling pictures and everything here. Yeah? We wish him all the best. Yes, that is the latest update concerning Omar Fawcett. It's eligible to play for Ghana and also England. So, GFE, look sharp and start talking to the boy. Now, let's move away from Omar Forsen and talk about Mohamed Kudus. Now, according to CIES Observatory, Mohamed Kudus is the second most valuable player in Africa here. And you can see the list here. There are two right to dream players in the list. That's from 1 to 10. There's Mohamed Kudus, who is second, and also there's Simon Adingra. But then Mohamed Kudus is in there, and that's who we are going to talk about. 89.6 million. I mean, that is wild. And I think it's huge for Mohamed Kudus because he has really performed well at West Ham. His performance really speaks for himself. His, his, his hype on and off the pitch is really paying off because it's not only about performing on the pitch. They need to package you as a whole product so that whoever is coming will know that you are a high quality product. So definitely, Mohamed Kudus deserves what is here. And the likes of Liverpool who are interested in Mohamed Kudus have me. The likes of Real Madrid who are interested in Mohamed Kudus. The likes of you know, Chelsea, Manchester United. I mean, there is a latest update concerning Mohamed Kudus saying that a team in the Saudi Arabian Pro League is interested in signing Mohamed Kudus. The name of the team is Al Etihad. And I'm going to read the report to you very quickly. Now, the report says that Mohamed Kudus is open to playing in Saudi Arabian League with a salary of 20 million euros annually and receive an inquiry from the Saudi club. And I mean, these are all rumors. It was trending since yesterday. Mohamed Kudus, Saudi Arabia and everything. It was trending since yesterday. But there's also a release clause issue that will be active next year, 2025 in July. So guys, that is the latest update concerning Mohamed Kudus. Now let's move away from Mohamed Kudus and talk about Zion Suzuki. Zaino Suzuki. He is a Japanese born Ghanaian player and he's a goalkeeper. And the current update we are receiving is that the likes of Manchester United and Genoa are interested in signing the goalkeeper. 
Currently, he thought he plays in the Belgian league with Centrine. And he is not bad at all. He's a ball claims uh, goalkeeper. And I think Manchester United have been following him for you know a very long time. And this player, he's on the radar of a lot of teams. Manchester United, Genoa, a lot of big European teams. But I mean, if you are looking for a goalkeeper to challenge at his game, Zara Suzuki is there for you know the, the, the calling. So I mean, GF, we need to look sharp. He's eligible to play for Japan, USA, and also Ghana. We need to go in there if we have to talk to him extensively to see to if we can convince him to come and play for Ghana. But then the latest transfer I've been concerning the player is that he is attracting interest from Manchester United and also Genoa. So guys, let's move away from Zion Suzuki and talk about Daniel Amati. Daniel Amati did not make the Blaster squad for the World Cup qualifiers. But then the reason why he didn't make it, I think he was trying to sort out issues when it comes to his club side. If you take a look at what Beck Sictus we need some few days ago, they have let go of some players. And Daniel Amate is one of those players. They have told him to go and look for a club. Now, Daniel Amate receives 2.5 million every year at Bexictas. And they want to, you know, free their wage bill. So, Daniel Amate is a player they feel like they need to let go. Currently, we hear Celtic are interested in signing Daniel Amate to the extent that Celtic has submitted a 4 million bid for Daniel Amate. Whether it's going to be accepted or not, I mean, time will talk. We'll make sure to bring him more a bit concerning the player. But when he went to Bexitas, he played as a centre back, also played at the DM. But he didn't. It didn't really work for the player. But then, let's see what happens if he leaves Bexitas and plays for Celtic. So, guys, this is the latest update concerning Daniel Lamati. Moving away from Daniel Lamati, let's talk about Babaraman. Now, Babaraman had a fantastic season with PAOK. He did so well in the Greece League. In fact, he scored six goals and three assists across all competition and if you take a look at the way he performed for PAOK in the previous season, you understand why teams in the English Premier League and even England are interested in Baba Rahman, the Ghana Black Star left back. He has decided not to play for Ghana because of his mental health, which is acceptable. But then the current transfer update concerning the player is that Luton Town, relegated Luton Town, are interested in signing Baba Rahman. We are going to follow up on this and bring you more updates because we already heard the likes of Brentford were interested in Barbaraman. The likes of Ipswich Street Town were interested in Barbaraman. Now the latest is Luton Town, who have been relegated from the English Premier League, going to the Championship and they need a formidable player to bluster their squad because Championship is not easy to play. It's not easy to play at all. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Baba Rahman. Now, let's move away from Baba Rahman and talk about a Ghanaian player who is called Ryan McEdu. Ryan McEdu. Currently, he's been signed from Chelsea to Arsenal. He's a teenager, just 15 years of age. And Chelsea are letting this player go on a transfer to Arsenal. Arsenal has spotted a very young, talented boy who is a Ghanaian. His name is Ryan Mark Edu, and they have decided to sign the player from Chelsea. Now, this player is going to sign to, to Arsenal and join their youth, youth squad, play very well there, and we hope that we see him in the you know, senior team. He has players to rely on, such as Thomas Pate, who definitely is a Ghanaian. So, I mean, he sees him as a senior brother, is going to help him through his you know adjustment and everything. But, guys, this is the latest update. Ryan Mark Edu would be signing for Arsenal from Chelsea. He's just 15 years of age. We'll make sure to bring you more updates on this live here on Sports Corner GH. And lastly, let me talk about Antoine Semenyo's brother, his younger brother. His name is Jai Semenyo. Jai Semenyo. He plays for Cardiff City. Now, the latest update we are re uh, receiving is that Cardiff City have decided to release Jai Semenyo. Yes, so currently he's a free agent. That is Antoine Selim, Selim, your younger brother, who is also learning to get a call up to the Black Stars. But then the latest transfer update we are receiving is that he has been released by his club, Cardiff City. Currently, he's a free agent and he's looking for a club. Hopefully, he gets a club before next season begins. But guys, this is the latest transfer update I have for you concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. We'll make sure to bring you more live here. Thank you for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie. We go vibe.